exactly that spot. Look at the Let's move on to our final play. We're going to look at uh, the Saints and Buccaneers from last night. Uh, Cam Jordan strip sack? Cam Jordan strip sack. Cam Jordan with a career day of what has already been a very great uh, – abo- I don't know how to even frame him. He's, he's going to flirt. People are going to talk about him as one of those guys – that is like a legacy Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? Right. They're going to be one of those guys like, what about Cam Jordan? He was really good back in the day. So, he, he I don't know what got into him, but he took over this game and he literally was the player of the game. Crazy, man, that Saints swept uh, Tampa Bay the last two years, with or without yep. Brady. Uh, not, I was not expecting that. I was definitely not expecting that. But yeah. First shutout in 255 starts. For, for Brady, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long, long time. So Saints pulled a uh, masterful performance together without their coach, Kevin James. I mean, Sean Payton. Uh, and <laughs> the movie <laughs> that nobody asked for. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So, all right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this play and situation. It is the third quarter. One minute, 16 seconds left. One minute, 16 seconds left. Third and seven. I believe the score is tied at, is it, New England leads up 6 nothing. I can't tell. Defense has been on the thing. They are, yeah. yeah. Feel a lot. 15 more plays. Yeah. Brady, pressure, gets out. He's going to run for it again. Jordan forced the fumble. Nice punch, man. And the Saints recover with Lattimore. Yeah, Brady Lattimore. had no business doing all of that. You don't like TV Mobile? After T-Mobile? three yards, he he should have he should have got down. Yeah, he got down. You got too much confidence running all, all over the Bills defense last week. You know, I think he's Lamar Jackson or something. I guess so. At forty five years old, he thinks he's Lamar Jackson. I guess <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, let's start to break this thing down. What are we looking at personnel wise? Personnel wise is a shotgun, shotgun doubles wing tight end. What do you guys think of that one? Mouth Shotgun bulb, doubles, it. wing tight end. Yeah, looked this one up, and I was like, I like that. That's a fun term. Yeah, so they got the, the two wide receivers stacked at the top of your screen and the uh, 11 uh, personnel. Then you got Gronk lined up in the wing uh, spot, and then you have, um, oh, crap, what's his name? That's Scotty Miller. It is. Scotty Miller's down at the bottom. They used to do this stuff all the time with, like, Edelman. They would single him up because what – I don't know if he ends up doing it because the play goes to crap immediately. But <laughs> <laughs> they they used to – I'm pointing, and I know everyone's, like, seeing, like, my finger just, like, come at the screen. But uh, th- they used to just bring Edelman, like, in a, like a cross, you know, like just a quick little – Yes. Or whatever like that into space because the idea being that you can use your other receivers to draw everyone out to the sidelines – or just down the field towards the end zone, and then you have all this underneath stuff for your quick, shifty guy to operate in space. So it would be a good idea to do that. No, for sure. Yeah, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah, a little just just go in between the seams, draw them off over here with these two, and so on and so forth. So, all right. Uh, all right, let's start to break this thing down. <laughs> I almost had some visitors. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> I miss them. Um, all right. Let's, uh, and then on, oh, on defense, we're, we're rocking uh, what I believe is um, nickel. But the, because of the way they're all crowded at the line, I was having a tough time figuring it out. Yeah, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they definitely Seven have four line. secondary players. Oh, definitely. That we can see. So. Definitely. So, all right, let's uh, let's take a look at how this this uh, this starts to break down. You let me know when to yeah. stop. Yeah, try and catch it when he has to evade the first guy coming off the edge, number all right. ninety-two. All right. Right tackle gets flat beat, which is concerning because that's. Uh, worth and he's literally like one of the best linemen in the league. Yeah. So for him to get burned here is just not good. That that sets the tone for the rest of this play. Yeah, the right uh, guards kind of like it's bad. That 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 was not a good pocket at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Um, so right here, the 92 gets the first chance at a strip sack. Um, doesn't quite come up with it. But Brady still keeps his eyes downfield. But he can't get out and flick it away like he used to. So all he does now is when things are bad, he literally just runs as fast as he can straight up the field. So, which, you know, I would do much worse, obviously. I'm going to just run up field. <laughs> well, yeah, we have to take knowledge at this point, too. Not that it matters. Next man up. But I think Fournette's out at this point. Uh, Godwin might be hurt. Fournette's like a nice safety blanket. I know you have Rojo, but he's yeah. not quite Leonard Fournette. So, yeah, Brady evades a tackle. And, yeah, this punch out. 94. They, they, this is 94, actually, the same that's, guy who had him on the edge. Well, that's Cam Jordan, so he's coming from the other side. Right. He had him. Yeah, he had him on the edge over here, and he does that. Uh, the punch out, man. It's really it's it's so cool seeing players do this thing now. Punch the ball forward. Miller's almost there to pick it up. Yeah. But yeah, that's a that's a beautiful punch out. It's, it's a really good when you're trying to tackle from behind. It's a pretty uh pretty solid way to get get things done. Yeah, there it is, right there. Little punch. Stop running, Brady. Yeah, no. Take care of yourself. Yeah, look at that. Look at that chase, man. He already got beat on the on the evade. Like he's said, he's thinking he's setting up this guy to to you know shake him. He's gonna he's gonna hit him with the the shifty hips, and I'm gonna get past him. Like, bro, you know that defensive linemen are faster than you, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, for our visual list watchers who um, are watching us on YouTube or Facebook, yeah, take a look at 94 right right here. All right, 94 is on the outside edge. He gets blocked away, and look at him in hot pursuit and then gets that punch out. Yep. That's, that's why you don't give up. That's it's, why you don't give up. Well, that's what makes him, you know, a, a guy that we'll talk about as his career comes to an end and he moves on. Is he going to be one of those guys that gets brought up? Every now and then, it's like, hey, what about this guy? Right. You know, I'm sure he's very popular in the you know Saints community, and he should be. He's a phenomenal player, uh, a huge steal where they got him. You know, to, to to be able to get the production out of him, I think he was a um a, a late second round pick. Okay. So like a French, like a French, uh, third round pick to get the the kind of sack production this guy gives you is ridiculous. So, the yeah. heart and soul of that defense for sure. Three, nine, three, nine, three, nine, three, nine. Three, three. Yeah, spot. 